This month, let's look at profiling a BGA package. Now, there are lots of different techniques. The simple way that I normally profile BGAs is to take a BGA package and the corresponding board. I first of all remove a row of balls on the BGA. This allows the package to sit flat on the printed circuit board, but also to allow me to thread through a thermocouple cable and have it soldered in place on the surface of the board. By doing this, you do sacrifice a BGA package, but perhaps not the printed circuit board, which generally is the more valuable of the items. You then make sure that the BGA is held on the surface of the printed circuit board and with the thermocouple joint soldered to the surface of the printed circuit board, you'll get a very accurate temperature profile of what is actually happening underneath the package, which is what you want to know. Traditionally, in the past, people have drilled the board and mounted the thermocouples either underneath or in one of the ball terminations. It's a lot more difficult to do than the simple way I've suggested. If you also want to mount a thermocouple and measure the top side BGA temperature, I recommend the use of aluminium foil. This gives us the best indication of temperature across the package. And it's a simple technique to use.